Now, coming to uh, Honorable Zagli Duval. Well, I will join in the argument of my colleague, Christina Cambou. He has chosen to leave this government. Now he's in the opposition, and he wants to have a say into the order of the day. It is for us, government, to decide about the order of the day, not for the opposition. And then, and then, Madam Speaker, this is not the first time that this is being done. I, I, I don't know whether he's, he can remember about uh, his uh, uh, colleague, former Minister Sitanen. He also has come up with a supplementary appropriation bill and has been scheduled in the past on a Tuesday. Then, why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you start uh, uh, criticizing and saying that, ah, why is it that we are not, ah, now today you are saying, that why is it on a Tuesday? And then we have no lesson to learn. You know, Madam Speaker, it's good for the population to be reminded. At least he was for some time with a, gov a Labour government at the head, Dr. Navin Ram Ramgulam, who had been closing the parliament for about nearly nine months. But for that part time, not for all the time, he has been with, uh, with, with that government. So we have no lesson to, to be told with regard to the order of the day of parliament. The, he said now uh, we are artificially, I have replied to that argument. We are not art artificially doing anything. Unlike you, what you have done before, you have been setting up special funds. But this is in, in the act of parliament of, of 2002. Uh, now, <laughs> I am shocked, Madam Speaker, by what I heard. When the leader of the opposition said, spending so much money on mitigation, it's as if we are wasting public funds and it will not stop climate change. So he's, in, uh, in other words, he's saying we shouldn't do anything about mitigating measures. We should sit down and just look at what's happening. Of course. Of course we are not able to stop climate change. Of course there is a global initiative and it is unfortunate that the United States have decided to, uh, you know, reculer uh, from the global initiative. But that doesn't deter us from acting and acting when it's causing damage to, uh, you know, properties, to infrastructure, and to people's lives also. So we are going to act. We have been acting, we are going, and more so now, when we are going to tap from other inter international organizations so that we get more funds. But <laughs> he's concerned about environment. Well, two, uh, 2000, and five to 2014, as has been rightly said previously. 2005, they came to government. Dr. Navin Ramgulam as prime minister. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I was what? Nine months in government? I'll reply. Nine months in government. But you please proceed. Attach yourself to the chair and proceed. Don't let yourself be interrupted by the leader of the opposition. 2000 and 2010, it was a transit, I must say. <laughs> didn't, didn't even have time to. <laughs> huh? may, may, Madam Speaker, yes. to, yes. 2005 to 2014, Order. he was leader, he was then leader of the PMSD, a strong partner in the Labour PMSD government. I hope you had the time to tell Dr. Navin Ramgulam, what are you doing and what do you intend to do about the National Environment Protection Commission? Then 
I hope you had some time to reflect upon it and to tell him whether he would chair that committee. <laughs> Madam Speaker, <laughs> so many years have gone by and the former Prime Minister didn't, at least, at least for once, at least for once, he didn't have the time to chair such an important commission. Such an important commission. It was, it was, c'est vrai, c'est vrai, he was, he was, he was busy doing other things. Huh? He was, he was more preoccupied with his own environment. 